Once upon a time, we all had this really cool U200 light. I bought maybe about four of these and I also gave away a few for free to a few lucky winners that participated on some of the giveaways I am having every single month. Now, this was the jam. Why? Because it did what we needed it to do. But this wasn't designed for the 360 booth. No, we put it through a lot of strain when we put it on the arm and have it shift around and then it stops and then it takes off. All that momentum is shifting from the actual arm onto this thread right here. So then what'll happen with time? This thread will come off and get stuck on your tripod ball head. That looks something like this little area right here. So far, if you guys can relate, if you can please tap that like button, that's gonna help the algorithm push this video out to more folks who need this solution that I feel like I just put together. So now that I have a brand new upgraded light, this is how I have it mounted on to the actual arm. As you guys can see, I'm using multiple head balls and these are pretty interesting guys just the way i set them up it's so it's fully functional it's exactly what it is these ball heads are fully functional because one of these heads allows you to access the side of it and it has a mount so that you can slide in another ball head to get more creative as you guys know that i like being just because I am a creative at the end of the day. That's just one of the things I'm very proud of. But so as you guys can see now here that I'm gonna start testing this bright light. And first we're gonna go ahead and shoot a video at 20% brightness. 20% brightness is very bright, but I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and use the actual, it's like a soft light cover that I use. It's almost like a diffuser, right? So this is at 20% brightness. And then here's another video guys. This video, I'm gonna be shooting this video with 40% brightness. I want you guys to get a visual here. Cool. And this next video right here is at 60% brightness. I would not recommend using this light at 100% brightness. It's just way too bright. Okay. Now, if you guys are wondering how long is this thing going to last me, we just know that I usually have it at 20% brightness and I still have half a battery left after two hours which means this is the winner guys. And this is why I'm sharing this video with you because I'm only sharing things that work for me. Of course, I'm also gonna share videos when something doesn't go according to plan so that you guys don't make the same mistakes I am making. I hope this video helps guys. All the links to the things that I'm using right now for my 360 booth production setup are gonna be in the description box below. Please like the video because it took me time to create this video for you guys. I already have this information I've acquired. I did all the troubleshooting. There was a ton of lights I sent back to Amazon, but this is a keeper right here and I am loving it. And I'll dive a little bit deeper into this light in the next video because I just have new ideas for this light. So please like, and if you're not subscribed and this brought value to your life, subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace.